Hello, and welcome to Lazy Gamer Inc.'s Dark Souls Weapon Guide. Today we're going to be covering straight swords. Straight swords tend to do moderately low damage and have a good attack speed and range when compared to other weapons of the game. Most of them also scale equally with both strength and dexterity, making them ideal weapons for quality builds. Now let's get started. This is the starting weapon for every class and indisputably the worst weapon in the game. It's only possible to acquire one of these per playthrough. The weapon features a base damage of 20 with E scaling in both strength and dexterity, as well as featuring a reach on par with fist weapons. A small step up from the straight sword hilt, the broken straight sword can be dropped by various hollows in the residents of Blight Town. It has a base damage of 40 with D scaling in strength and dexterity, with a slightly longer reach than your bare hand, about on par with a dagger. Despite being marginally better than the straight sword hilt, it's still worse than just about any weapon in the game. The first decent weapon on this list. The broadsword is the starting weapon for the knight and can also be purchased from Andre of Astora for 1,000 souls. It weighs 3 units and features broad sweeping attacks, making it well suited for engaging multiple opponents. It does, however, lack the versatility of the other swords in this category and is a poor weapon choice for tight quarters. The longsword is the starting weapon for the warrior, is sold by Andre for 1,000 souls, or can be attained via random drop by killing any hollow wielding the weapon. It weighs 3 units and has a versatile moveset with standard slashes, a lunging stab up followed by a swift upward swing, and wide sweeping attacks when using the two-handed strong attack, reminiscent of the broadsword. The short sword is a starting weapon for the archer. It's sold by the undead merchant for 600 souls, or can be acquired from various hollows found early in the game. Its moveset is identical to the longsword, but it features a slightly lower damage, shorter reach, and a lighter weight at 2 units. Personally, I would just recommend the longsword over this one. The Barbed Straight Sword this sword can be dropped by Knight Kirk when he invades you, should you defeat him. It does have a few things to set it apart aside from its poor scaling, such as the sword always dealing thrust damage, making it useful with the Leo Ring, and causing bleed buildup, the only straight sword that can. Not too great, but could be useful for certain roles. The Sunlight Straight Sword The method of attaining this sword comes at a high cost. You must kill Solaire of Astora. It is identical to the longsword in terms of attacks, but features slightly higher damage and weight. If you can spare the extra weight, then this sword is the clear winner, provided you don't mind a guilty conscience. This weapon has a chance of dropping for many of the Baldur Knights wielding it in either the Undead Parish or Sin's Fortress, though the latter are more so than the former. The sword receives most of its scaling and dexterity, making it the ideal straight sword for anyone who using a build focusing on dexterity. It also has a longer reach than the other swords in this category, and has an amazing thrusting attack with excellent tracking. Anyone who wants a straight sword with lower stat investment or for a dex build should check this one out. The Silver Knight Straight Sword. This weapon can be dropped by slaying the Knights of Anorlando, who wield it. It is a non-standard weapon and upgrades with Twinkling Titanite. Despite this, it can still be buffed. Its starting damage is much higher than that of the other straight swords, but keep in mind it can only be upgraded 5 times instead of 15 and features worse scaling. The sword is a poor choice for balance build, but can make a good weapon in the mid game when you are first able to acquire it. The Dark Sword can only be obtained by joining the Dark Wraith Covenant and offering 30 humanity to Darkstalker Kath. It shares the slightly higher damage of the Sunlight Straight Sword and Broadsword, but is much heavier at 6 units. Its heavy attack has a spinning upward swing followed by a downward smash. It's also worthy of note that these attacks can be easily chained with light attacks. Despite its unique heavy attack, it's difficult to recommend due to its relatively high weight and the difficulty of attaining it. The Crystal Straight Sword can be purchased from Domal of Zinna for 4,000 souls or dropped from the crystallized hollows in the Duke's archives. This weapon is quite unique in that it cannot be repaired or upgraded, which is quite a drawback considering the weapon's low durability of 60. It can be a powerful weapon early in the game, but is severely outclassed on due to its inability to be improved in its high weight of 6 units. This sword can be found on a corpse by an undead dragon in the Valley of the Drakes. 
a non-standard weapon that is improved using Twinkling Titanite. This is the only weapon on this list that deals magic damage and has a holy modifier. Because the damage is split into two different attack types, it must pass through two defense checks, making the damage much lower than a pure physical weapon on mid to late game enemies. The holy modifier makes this weapon deal extra damage to the skeletons in the catacombs and make sure they cannot reform themselves. A decent weapon for exploring the catacombs and for early on, provided you can fill the faith requirement, but it's very lacking past that point. The Drake Sword. This sword is acquired by cutting off the tail of the overgrown drake who guards the bridge leading to the undead parish. The drake sword has a very high damage of 200 to start with, but receives no weapon scaling, meaning the only way to improve the damage is by upgrading it. That being said, the weapon only upgrades to plus 5, and you must use a rare dragon scale to do so. Even when fully upgraded, its damage is only 300, far below the other fully upgraded straight swords with quality build stats.